Hi, my name is Darshan and I'm an online tutor of math and physics. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about one FRQ, which is uh, for a pretty relatively new course uh, issued by College Board, which is AP Pre-Calculus. So this question I have pulled up from one of the simple exam, which, uh, which you know, it's available on the College Board website as well. So let's try this up and see uh, what it has to tell us. Okay, so there's a graphing calculator, calculator required for these questions, so please keep it handy. Uh, we can see that there's a table with you know some values of x, some values and the corresponding values of fx as well. Uh, let f be an increasing function defined for the positive values of x and the table gives the values of fx at selected values of x. Okay, The function g is given by this. Okay, so here comes the first question. The function h is defined by, okay, that's a nested function, that's a composite function which is g of f of x which is g of fx, find the value of g of 5 as a decimal approximation or indicate that it is not defined. All right, okay, so uh, let's see, uh, how can we define h of 5? Now, h of x is nothing but g of f of x, right? That's a composite function. We are supposed to find h of 5, so all we are going to do is replace, uh, um, of course, uh, x with 5, so h of 5 will be g of f of 5 and what is f of 5 it's pretty evident right look at this table locate 5 and corresponding to 5 <clears throat> uh, corresponding to 5 we have the value of uh, the function as 34 so we're going to write here as 34 g of 34 and what is g of 34 as simple as we plug that in right over here. So g of 34 is going to be um, 34 cube minus 14 times 34 minus 27 over 34 plus 2. I hope you understand what I did. I just replaced every x over here with 34 to get the answer. So I'm going to use a calculator here. Just bear with me for a couple of seconds. 34 cube minus 14 times 34 minus 27 <clears throat> over 36. So this value comes out as uh, 1077, 1077. 77.81 up to two decimal places. Let me just quickly verify if we are on the right page um yes indeed this is the final answer then they are asking that what is the value of f inverse 4 or indicate that it is not defined pretty straightforward right f inverse of 4 is basically the x coordinate when y value is 4 because inverse is just you know reverse engineering you're 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 not moving from x to y rather you are moving from y to x so this value is nothing but the y coordinate so i'm gonna see in this table where i can locate four unfortunately yes i can locate four and the corresponding value of x to it is three yeah so the value of f inverse uh, i'm gonna write here the value of f inverse of four it's just going to be three that is the answer for it yeah your part a makes sense uh, let me create a copy of this and uh, move on to the next page okay now find all values of x as decimal approximations for which gx is three or indicate that there is no such value so it's as simple as we need just we just need to work on this particular equation uh, sorry this is b1 uh, which particular equation am I talking about? Gx, they are saying, is equal to 3. So all we have to do is just, you know, plug in the equation of Gx and solve for Gx equal to 3, as simple as that. Gx is already given to us as x cubed minus 14x minus 27 over, this is x plus 2, and that is equal to 3. And of course, this is a cubic equation. There is no need for you to solve this manually. Graphical calculator, graphing calculator is allowed. So I'm going to do that right now. Um, x cube minus up. Uh, uh, I'm not sharing this window, but you can definitely use your own graphing calculator and solve this up. Uh, where x plus 2 minus 3. So I'm using Desmos. 
um, okay so I got the answer as four point is that the only answer indeed uh, 4.875 up to three decimal places so 4.88 up to two decimal places that's how we can write this final answer so that is what it is yeah right pretty straightforward uh, let's see b2 this is interesting now you're saying that determine the end behavior of g as x decreases without bound i can express your answer with the mathematical notation all right now this is a rational function right g is a rational function which is given by x cubed minus 14x minus 27 over x plus 2 always remember that if you want to find the end behavior of a rational function then you have to look at the overall degree of that function what do i mean by the overall degree locate the degree of the numerator which is 3 i mean yeah x cubed so 3 degrees 3 locate the num uh, degree of denominator which is 1 and then do 3 minus 1 because why minus because you know the exponents are in division so in division the rule says that the power should be subtracted so it will be 3 minus 1 3 minus 1 is 2 so 2 is your degree overall degree of this rational function and you work on the leading coefficient as well what is the leading coefficient exact same procedure you look at the leading coefficient of numerator which is nothing is written it means that it is one you look at the leading coefficient of denominator once again nothing is written it means that it is one over there so this is one and this is one and divide both the leading coefficient i'm only interested in the sign so one over one positive or positive is just positive so the leading coefficient is positive in nature what happens when the degree is even and the leading coefficient is positive it means that either way it is going to go up and up so x decreases then also function increases and x increases then also the function increases uh, so be careful they want us to write the answer using a mathematical notation of the limit so we are this is how we are going to write we are going to say that <clears throat> a limit x tending towards negative infinity of gx will approach infinity because if x decreases y increases and not that they have asked but we can also now comment that their right side limit as in if the x increases without bound that is also going to be infinity over here but they have only asked you know about the uh, about the behavior when x decreases so this is what it is yeah hope this one makes sense uh, let's move on to the last part of this question, uh, which is uh, use the table of the values of fx to determine if f is best f is best model by a linear quadratic exponential or logarithmic function. All right, so uh, we're going to pay some attention on how the values of the function are changing with respect to the changing values of x. So uh, <clears throat> let's work. Let's see the pattern over here. Right? Let's see the pattern. Okay, the way I see it, for every one unit increase, because uh, there you go, this is a one unit increase, one unit increase, one, one. Notice carefully how the function is changing. Here, there is a five unit increase. Then there is a nine unit increase. Then there is a 13 unit increase. And then there is a 17 unit increase and so on definitely not linear because had uh, had this was linear uh, the change of x and the change of y will always be same here the change of y is not same it's changing so definitely it's not linear uh, let's see quadratic what is the condition for quadratic its second difference should be same what do i mean by second difference this is the first difference you know the first difference which is created right now the second difference is the difference of the differences. So I'm going to say that the difference of the differences, uh, first difference is plus 5, plus 9, plus 13, plus 17. If we take the difference again, 9 minus 5, 4, 13 minus 9, 4, 17 minus 13, again 4. This is same. So 
since the difference of the difference is same <clears throat> second difference is same this is the condition for a quadratic function so the given function is a quadratic function because the difference of the difference or the second difference is constant and that's what actually part a one and two together are asking that use the table of values to determine if f is best modeled by what it's quadratic and then in part two they're asking the reason so the reason is the difference of the difference or the second difference is constant that is the reason why um you know this represents a quadratic function uh, so i hope this one makes sense uh, this is a little bit again a new course introduced by college board so i just thought to make a video about it maybe we'll get a different perspective about how ap pre-cal frq are gonna look like so i'll see you in the next video with some uh, other topic i'll see you then bye, -bye.